Welcome to the Springfield Conservation Nature Center. Thank you very much. This is an incredible facility, just beautiful. And can you tell me, um, is, is this operated by the Department of Conservation in yes. the state of Missouri? Yes, the Missouri Department of Conservation, yes. Absolutely. And one other very quick question. Um, how is this uh, uh, organization funded? Is By a one-eighth of one percent tax on all of your purchases. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And then hunting licenses. Very interesting. Uh -oh. <laughs> is there any type of a friends group that is associated with this, uh, Nate, this, this center? No, we have a volunteer program that helps run all of the nature centers. We, every nature center has volunteers and most of the work is done by volunteers. We have very small staff numbers and there's a heritage foundation where you can leave um, money or uh, send money into um, okay. if you want to and designate it the Springfield Conservation Nature Center on the check. Okay, very, very good. I will include that with information that I gave you. That would be excellent. Okay. I think this is great. Well, thank you so much. And if you would just uh, perhaps photograph this, this uh, sign right here, just uh, Welcome. Just great. This is the um, incredible Springfield, Missouri Nature Center that is uh, just beyond belief. I used to tramp around these grounds uh, as a teenager before this facility was ever put together. And uh, this is what has culminated over the, I guess over about the last 30 years. It is an incredible display of wildlife. And uh, here you can just get a feeling for the architecture uh, in this building that is just absolutely outstanding. And the displays and the photographs are just uh, wonderful. Uh, here you can get some examples of uh, some of the photography that has been done uh, in the area. Here are, here's an example of a little display of uh, children's books on birds that uh, are just uh, just outstanding. Here's a little uh, display on recycling of monofilament line. Uh, as you look out back behind the window, you see uh, multiple bird feeders and they surround the building all the way from uh, normal seed feeders to uh, hummingbird feeders. This is the habitat room that uh, discusses habitats all the way from spiders to reptiles to uh, various kinds of uh, animals and birds. Here is a display on bird uh, habitats of various kinds. Uh, just, just incredible work and artwork. Here is a uh, display of the Ozark wetlands which we're in the middle of. This is in southwest Missouri, Springfield, Missouri, and uh, you see many of the species uh, that are present here locally, indigenous species, from dragonflies to animals to fish to reptiles to uh, amphibians. Uh, really quite a collection of amazing species, uh, some of which are quite endangered now. Here is the f forest uh, display. Uh, just really uh, an incredible work of models from snails to millipedes and centipedes to uh, upland forest uh, areas. Just really well done. Beautiful photography as well. This is a uh, display of a forest uh, with a uh, thunderstorm. And you can hear the, the rain dropping, uh, the thunder, uh, the lightning. Uh, I don't know if uh, 
perhaps there's a button that needs to be pushed. Here it comes up. Yeah, there, you, there we go. And uh, there is quite a bit of information here on climatology for those interested in that area. Uh, but, uh, really quite, uh, quite impressive. A breeze is now blowing. Uh, the wind is starting to come up uh, with this thunderstorm in the middle of the night. And uh, here's somebody uh, trampling it up. Come on! Let's hurry to the pond to see the salamanders. I'm coming! What salamanders? I'm hoping we'll see the spotted salamanders tonight. The rainy weather is perfect, and a warm spring night will bring them out. Look, the pond's right over there by those trees. Let's go! Okay, but it's kind of creepy out here. Shh! Salamanders are sort of tricky to spot. They hide under rocks Incredible and discussion this among kids about salamanders. Here is a display on grasslands, pastures of the present, prairies of the past. Very, very well done. A very clever play on words. This is called Natural Communities, Nature's Websites. Uh, very, uh, very interesting and uh, effective uh, where you match the home with the species and talk about natural communities. Excellent. Do you see the deer, Cameron? See the deer? Oh, look at that. Look at the tufted titmouse. Oh, look at the deer out there. And the little Carolina chickadee, it looks like. Oh, look at the deer. Oh. oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, He's one of the there. juveniles from last year. We live. Uh, we Maybe just read them off for me. If you oh, look at the nesting boxes, eastern chipmunk, the seeds, every kind of bird seed, Carolina wren. Work it, work it around, make him move. Can you show him? It says the gosh darn beaver. It's the beaver. Can you see? Yeah, oh, there you go. That is cool. And, and 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 then the, okay, and then there are other ones up. There's other oh, ones. Oh yeah. There there normally is some place where the children can put on a puppet show. Oh gosh. See, like um, they usually use a tree or something like this. Oh see? And how they can cool! Put on a puppet show for their friends. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And this whole bucket here is full of all kinds of the different puppets. Oh yeah. Oh. But any of these things that they can interact with, yeah. then, then you're going to be able to keep them active for a good hour exactly. before you have to move on to that. <laughs> Absolutely. This is the main lobby of the facility, and uh, it is just beautiful with all kinds of hanging birds. Uh, different types of uh, plaques, uh, landscape relief maps on the on the ground, and beautiful photography all the way around the building. It's just an amazing, amazing facility, um, and one that could very well be emulated by any number of groups. Mm -hmm.